Hi everyone, I'm Diana with Dress Tech, and it is the weekend before Halloween. So stick around, you don't want to miss this episode. So first of all, I really need to do a little trimming because as you can see, I am starting to look like a Wookiee. Now I'm putting on some green colored contacts and this green color is going to go great with my camo look. And check out those nipples. We're going to get back to those in a minute, I promise you. But first, it's time for a shave. I actually shave twice, first with the grain and then against it. Much better. So here I'm just trimming my brows. They get really long and I use this little, this little comb and an electric trimmer to keep them short. Mayron Skin Prep Pro is basically an antiperspirant for my face. I put that on before makeup. And now I'm putting on a beard shadow cover. This is an orange color that counteracts the bluish tint of my beard shadow area. And then I'm using Mayron Cream Blend Stick. This is a very pigmented foundation, but what I love about it is it goes on so easily. And I like to just first spread it around with my fingers like you see here. stipple with a damp blending sponge and that kind of evens out the coverage and then I set it with lots of powder you can't have too much powder so just go ahead and put powder on there and then wipe off the excess this is an eyelid primer and this is going to help my eyeshadow really stick and pop out more and I'm a big fan of tape whenever I want to define that outer edge of my eye makeup I put some tape on there so now I'm just going in with a black eyeliner pencil and it doesn't have to be pretty yet because I'm going right back in there with a little diagonal brush and I'm gonna smooth it out and make it just how I want now I'm using a white pencil to apply a little bit of a highlight to the inner corners of my eyes and then I'm putting a bright shimmery eyeshadow all over the lid Then I'm taking a darker green and I'm applying that to the outer corner of my eye and I'm also going to bring it into the crease. And I actually wanted the outer corners a little bit darker so I went back in there with a little bit of black. And then highlight my brow bone. together. So I also went over the eyeliner. I wanted it to be a little bit more defined so I went over it again. And then off comes the tape. Now I'm just going over the wet line with my eyeliner pencil and putting a little bit of eyeshadow below that. And now I'm doing my brows. I'm using a gel eyebrow liner, which I love, but I hate this silly little brush that it came with. I really need to replace it. I've got better brushes. But it is doing its job. You can see that my brows are looking a lot sharper and more defined. it's time for lashes. I use duo adhesive and I let that dry for a moment until it gets a little bit sticky and then I use tweezers to gently push everything into place. And do be careful if you use tweezers around your eyes because they can be really sharp. As soon as that glue is tacked up you can apply some mascara. Now, this is a Mayron product but I also often use a washable mascara 
mascara because it's a lot easier to remove at the end of the night. And now I'm using the Dress Tech Contour Palette. This lets me sort of sculpt my face for more feminine features. So right now I'm making my nose look a little bit more narrow and the jawline a little more rounded. And I'm defining the temples. And then I'm coming back in with a white highlighter and I'm highlighting those areas that I want to pop out. And then blend it all together. shiny blush and then I'm going in with a eyeliner pencil I'm using a shade that's a little darker than the lipstick I'll be wearing today and feel free to draw outside your natural lip line if you want your lips to look bigger and there's the lipstick and then blot to remove the excess and there are those nipples again. These are actually dress tech perks. These are fantastic. These are prosthetic nipples that you can put on your skin or on your breast forms. And as you can see here, they are optionally pierceable, which is great fun. I love these. They are just so freaking cute. Look at that. Love them. Dress tech perks. So now I'm taping together my cleavage with the Dress Tech Cleavage Tape. I sometimes use a sticky bra, which is more comfortable, but the tape lets me pull a little bit more aggressively. And I'm going back in with the Dress Tech Contouring Kit, trying to make that cleavage look a little bit deeper. And then I'm putting on a pocketed bra with Pro Form Silicone Breast Forms. And if you do everything right, it should look like a full cleavage that flows down into your bra cups. So it's a very convincing illusion. This is a barrier spray, it sets the makeup and makes it last a little longer. And gosh, I am almost ready. Of course, I never go anywhere without my Dress Tech hip pads. This is a size large. I have made thousands of these for other people and I'm more than happy to make a pair for you. And I'm wearing them today under our Shape and Go garment. This is basically crotchless Spanx, and the beautiful thing is you can pull down your gaff and use the restroom without disrupting the hip pads. So, here's the finished look. country for viewers is India <laughs> so how do you surprise me how do you tell people to subscribe in Hindi you heard her subscribe now or else I think we should really celebrate Halloween when it's not Halloween and there's not lines, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. If you're looking for any products that you saw here, you can find them at the Dress Tech store. And do me a quick favor and click on the subscribe button right now because when I reach 20,000 subscribers, I promise I'm going to do a lingerie shoot. So click now and let's make that happen. 